What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have our January boxy charm. Here is the box with all the cute little products in it. This month's theme is Rock 2018. Let's just dig right into it. Let me show you guys what I got. First we have a Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Delivers a natural radiant glow while blurring pores and imperfections for a beautifully illuminated flawless complexion. Okay. This does retail for $38. I do like Dr. Brandt. I have some of their eye cream. Next up we have the Girl Lactic um, Matte Lip Paint in the the shade, what color is this? The lip shade is Posh. It's just like a nude pinky type color. Retails for $23. It is one of the original liquid lipstick formulas that is still true to its words. It's lightweight, long wearing, non cracking, and won't settle. For better application, do not apply a lip balm or lip primer before application. Okay, I didn't even read this before I put it on. Which I did. Next up, we have the It Cosmetics Brow Powder Pencil. This retails for $24. It's developed with plastic surgeons. Okay. We have the Pure Bronze and Brighten Palette, Cheek Palette. I'm kind of like in love with this palette. I was a little skeptical about the highlight because I love a blinding highlight. It's really just giving me what I need out of a highlight. I think this is my favorite product out of the entire box. It retails for $34. Wow, pretty expensive. Last up, we have the Glam Metals eyeshadow palette from Crown Brush. The Glam Metals palette, rock your look with the Crown Pro Glam Metals eyeshadow palette. These highly pigmented, ultra blendable shadows make smoky eye looks a breeze. Hmm. I would have liked to see one or two more matte shades just to be able to do a full look with this entire palette because you can't really do much with all shimmer colors. The eyeshadow palette retails for $25, so that's not too bad for nine eyeshadows with a little cute little mirror that came with it. So if you add all those totals up, it's a lot of money for $21 for one month. So if you guys want to see how I use these products, how they worked out for me, Make sure you keep on watching and let's get into this tutorial. Let's get started with our brow powder pencil from IT Cosmetics. Here is the spoolie side. Here is the actual pencil side. Almost like an oval shape. Now I'm just letting you guys know I'm not the best at just using a pencil for my eyebrows. I normally use the Anastasia Dip Brow with an angled brush to basically carve out my brow and then I usually use like Benefit Goof Proof to fill everything in, hit it with a spoolie at the end. So let's see how this goes. I finished the brows off camera because it was just taking me too long only using the pencil, but I did only use the pencil. I'll probably have to touch it up after I put my foundation on and everything like that. Let's get started into this primer from Dr. Brandt, the Luminizer Primer. So it's got a little bit of color to it. it smells almost like a sunscreen is the vibe I'm getting from it. I'm gonna put this all over my face. Let's go back in with a little bit more for the forehead. Alright, we got the base on. I mean, to be honest, I don't really know what primers really do for you. I still see everything that's on my face. So yeah. I am really digging this eyeshadow palette. I do like the colors. I wish there would have been maybe like one or two more matte shades so you can do a full look with this. For my transition and crease colors, I am going to be using Dose of Colors Baked Browns. We are going to start out with using the lightest shade, which is Tea Light, and we're going to put that all over the lid. Just taking a blending brush, and this is from Ipsy, actually. We're just taking this all over the lid and all the way up to the transition. All the way up to the brow bone as well. Thank you. 
We are going to try our best to do a rock star look today. I don't know if you guys can hear all the background noise, but Babe and two friends just got home from golfing. It's championship football weekend, and they're out there taking shots, and I'm in here filming, so please excuse the noise. Using the same brush, we're going to dip into this color, which is called Deserted. I think I'm going to dig into the Ricky red color and that is called cherry wood using the same brush but we're going to go just a little bit lower. All right, I think I'm dipping into the dark brown shade which is rock bottom and Once we've got most of the color off of the brush, we're going to slightly blend it to the inner corner. All the brown shades are on. Now we're going to dip into the Glam Metals palette. We're dipping into black metal. We are going to pack that on this outer corner, slightly blending it to like the middle point. Okay, so I'm going to dip back into the transition shade and just blend everything out. Now what I'm going to do is carve out my lids with some MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. I'll be right back. Okay, lids are carved out. I mean, to the best of my ability. Now we're going to dip into this sh blue shade right here, which is heavy metal. And that's going to be more right here on the center of the lid. And then we'll move into punk, which is the lighter blue. And that's going to be toward the inner corner. I'm just going to try this without wetting it. Ooh, a good amount of product comes off. I'm going to wet the brush just to see if it intensifies the color. Now we're dipping into that lighter blue. And why do they look like the exact same color? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but they're the exact same freaking color. What I'm going to do now is just throw some glitter on because I feel like the blues are the exact same color. We're using Tarte's Eye Jewels Glitter Liner in silver. Pop that on the inner corner area. And maybe actually line that crease. Okay, definitely liking that effect. We're gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'm gonna throw on some lashes, put some foundation on, and then we're gonna be back to finish using the rest of the products in the box. My face is on, foundation, Fenty Beauty, some shape tape under the eyes. I got some lashes on, Ardell Double Ups. I did a little bit of contour, even though we're gonna use the bronzer, but let's finish this under eye and then we can start finishing this look. I am first going to go in with transition shade that we used under the eye and then we're gonna, I think we're going for some like purplish under the eye. Now we're going to dip into this purple shade. It's called The Wicked. I'm just going to see what that does under the eye. Now we're dipping into the black shade from the Glam Metals palette and we're going to just get some depth in our outer corner just using a flat brush. Experiencing a little fallout. 
eyes are starting to get red. I think I got some eyeshadow in my eyes. We finished the eye. Did a little black eyeliner. What did I use? I used a Smashbox one. I got it in one of my subscription boxes. For the inner corner, I used the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. Oh, can never open it. And I used this shade right here. I think it's called Milky Way or it's Ozone, but it's this little bright shade right there. Now we are ready to dig into this Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. I'm kind of living for this palette right now. I'm really liking the colors in it. It's very pretty. I'm definitely going to use the bronzer and then I'm going to mix the blush color and the bronzer together for some blush and then we're going to hopefully get a blinding highlight out of this highlight color. I think I'm gonna like this palette a lot. If that highlighter comes through, woof, no. Now let's mix that with the blush. I've been using this Wet n Wild highlighter brush recently, quite often, so we're just gonna dig into that. Now let's see what this does. Oh, wow. Wow. This is a blinding highlight. I'm gonna have to blend this out. Okay, pure, okay. Now we're just gonna kind of blend it in together with the bronzer. Wow, I was not really expecting that. <laughs> real quick, I just need to like carve out my cheekbones real quick. Let's dig into this lip color. a really pretty nude color. Hopefully it dries down and doesn't move. Alright you guys, this wraps up this January BoxyCharm box. Overall, I thought it was a really good box. I love getting eyeshadow palettes. I think my favorite is going to be this little palette right here. I will probably use this quite often. I even actually enjoyed using the It Cosmetics brow pencil, so I'm going to play with this a lot more. I wasn't expecting my brows to turn out the way that they did not using what I normally do. I am very impressed even though it kind of took me a little bit longer but I probably just need to practice only using a pencil on my eyebrow. I'm kind of disappointed in the palette. I don't know like those two blue shades just really look the exact same. Of course you know me I'm just gonna add some glitter and call it a day. I do like the box. I am going to continue to use this primer as well and oh this is giant. Okay, good. Mm, yeah. Definitely liking this color of this matte lipstick. It, I think it's going to be a color that I can wear to work, that it's not too distracting, um, pretty subtle. But overall, I am enjoying this box and very happy with the products that I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!